Hi, this is Kenny from Warburton. I'd like to tell you about a new product that we're happy about called the Advanced Training Visualizer. You might be thinking to yourself, hey buddy, what's up with the gadgets? We're trumpet players. We should just practice the trumpet. Well, I recommend practicing the trumpet. It's a great thing to do. But I also recommend adding a little ATV practice into the mix to help you get over that hump or break through that wall that's been hanging you up with certain areas of your plan. When you think about it, the trumpet itself is pretty forgiving. It'll work with you. You can do some things wrong, you can do some things that are not so good, and notes will still come out the bell. Now, unlike that, the ATV is very stubborn, it's very obstinate, and it just simply will not work with you unless you do everything that it wants you to do exactly the way that it wants you to do it. Now, the first thing that the ATV wants you to do is to have very firm support muscles around the aperture. And that would be all these muscles around here. You've got to be firm for every note that you play on the trumpet, even the low ones. Now, if you try to play the ATV with those muscles loose or unsupported, this will happen. Nothing but air. The next thing it wants you to do is that your aperture area, the part that's inside the mouthpiece, where the buzz is, that must be supple or relaxed. It can't be too tight or pinched. Or this will happen. Not so good. And the third thing that it demands of you is that you support all of that with a nice solid air column. Now, if you can coordinate those things together, get them working together just right, you'll get something like this. A nice solid buzz. So what you might say is that the ATV closes the doors of the pathways that lead to failure on your buzz, and it opens only those doors that lead you down the right pathway to have a really good, happening, vibrant buzz. And if you think about it, the buzz is the, the very core of your sound production. If you get that working like a well-oiled machine, then all other facets of trumpet playing are going to be that much easier. Well, by now you might be saying to yourself, Well, hey, Kenny, that's great for a fifth grader. But what about me? I've been playing for years. What's it going to do for me? Let me tell you about a fellow that came into shop a while back, a good musician could play just about any tune that's ever been written and take a nice jazz chorus on it. And I asked him, is there any aspect of your playing that you're unhappy with? He says, well, I'm just a high D player. Oh, I hate to hear anyone say I'm just this or I'm just that, because to me, that means that they've given up on some aspect of their playing. They've resigned themselves to whatever level they had achieved at one point physically on the trumpet, and just uh, accepted it and moved on from there to other pursuits. And when I had this fella try the ATV, he got nothing but air. And that proved to me right there that uh, maybe those limitations that he accepted, he didn't have to accept, or he certainly doesn't have to now, because he can use the ATV to help analyze the areas where he needs the help in that critical balance between the support muscles and the supple aperture and the firm air column. Personally, uh, I've been playing for 40 years, as it turns out, and recently uh, I made some nice advances with my sound, just the quality of my tone, and I uh, was on a gig with the f folks I've been working with for years and uh, did a little Harry James melody, didn't even really go that high, but I think at the end of it, I think just about everybody in the band came up and uh, commented to me on, on the sound, uh, which is great. You know, when uh, a musician hears one of their fellow musicians improving dramatically, noticeably, sometimes they just can't help but feel compelled to come up and tell you about it. And uh, so that happened to me. Just uh, the advances I made in sound quality from using the ATV. So uh, regardless of your age or experience or the uh, uh, level of musicianship that you've achieved, I think you can use the ATV to help you get to the next level.
this particular model, uh, the Warburton design. Uh, Terry put a little cone leading down to a large flat spot there. And I think that helps uh, eliminate the need to go to the mirror and keep validating visually if your buzz is happening. Because with this thing you can hear it buzzing off of there, you can feel it. And you can really tell when everything's working. So uh, I recommend the ATV to you. I think it can improve just about anybody. And uh, good luck.